This is a bowl of soup, borscht to be precise. And this is the war in Ukraine. What could these two things possibly have to do with each other? Well, more than you'd think. Earlier this month, Russian Foreign Ministry spokesperson Maria Zakharova had this to say about why Russia is so angry at Ukraine. This isn't the first time that relations between Russia and Ukraine have soured over soup. In recent years, Moscow has angered Ukrainians with tweets claiming that borscht is a Russian dish. So what's the beef over borscht? Well, various versions of the beetroot-based soup have been eaten for centuries, all across Eastern Europe and the former Soviet Union. But most historians agree it was first made in what is today Ukraine. And Ukrainians want credit for that. The globally renowned Ukrainian chef Yevgen Klopotenko has led an effort to get UNESCO to recognize borscht as a uniquely Ukrainian dish. He says it's about more than just what's on the menu. The borscht is a part of our history, part of our identification. And if they will take our food, they will take half of us. And then they will take half of our language, and then they will take our religion, and they can, they, they can take our lives, and there is no more such nation as Ukraine. But borscht isn't just high politics. It's also home cooking. It's very important, this color, you see? Sofia and Mikhail Turovsky moved to New York from Ukraine in the 1970s. They recently had me over to their Brooklyn apartment for some homemade borscht, the Ukrainian way. My mother was saying, on any dish, you have to have a little bit um, magic. When I asked the couple about what borscht means to them, Mikhail, the artist, had a very different answer from his wife, Sofia, the retired engineer. Oh, just tasty food. <laughs> For me, it's a philosophy. <laughs> philosophy of life. <laughs> borscht is the uh, greatest ingredient of life. But there was no disagreement about where borscht is really from. Russians picked up it from Ukrainians, I think. But it's absolutely <laughs> Ukrainian food, yeah. Still, when I tried to draw them out on some kind of deeper, mystical, culinary connection to their homeland, Sofia shot me down. When you uh, make borscht, is it like a way of connecting with Ukraine? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. No? <laughs> no, I don't think so. It's food, you know. For her, it's about something more personal. Yeah. I always think about my mom when I cook because uh, all my life I was a working woman and cooking wasn't a uh, <laughs> big part of my life. Yeah. I, st I learned it from my mom and since my mom passed away, each time I do something, I think about her. Meanwhile, 5,000 miles away, Ukrainians continue to fight for their sovereignty, for their culture, and of course, for their borscht. For G Zero World, I'm Alex Clement.